Describe the dynamic between your three characters in the film. <laughs> what was that sigh? <laughs> well, I'm like, you know, they got um, a little thing going. I really like her. I have a crush on her, and I'm figuring out how to, you know, hit on her without everybody else knowing. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm feeling extremely competitive with Martinez. Martinez and I have a really good thing. We're like buddies. You know, when we're like really close, physically. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> it's like Twilight. It's just, it's like, it's it like, is. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Michael, humor is a big part of the movie and is one of Rick Martinez's signature qualities. Do you share that same characteristic with your character? I don't think so. Yes. I'm like I'm super boring. Mm -hmm. uh, I play chess and golf. I'm like an old white man. <laughs> Seriously. He's not funny, so you're right, yeah. Yeah, so I got yeah. that going, which mm -hmm. is nice. Mm -hmm. And Sebastian, in addition to his medical background, your character is highly trained for numerous fail-safe scenarios. What's his biggest challenge? <laughs> <laughs> um, owning up to the responsibilities. Um, multitasking, yeah. yeah. You know, um, like you said. And how does clip. he figure into the efforts to retrieve Mark Watney? Well, he's just sort of a commander Lewis's mercy, you know, so whatever, whatever, however she directs him. I mean, he's, he, he's conducted a lot of spacewalks, and, and so he has background in that, and I think um, that's kind of where he comes in, is to sort of handle the, the situation outside of the ship, you know, whereas these guys are uh, more locked into the cockpit and... Um, he's uh, he's on the outside of the ship. And Kate, your character is probably the most reserved of the characters in the film. Do you think that this reflects a necessary mm. balance to all of Rick Martinez's shenanigans? I wouldn't consider her reser yeah, reserved. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think of her as reserved. No. Um. I think that the, all of the that the crew has a pretty playful energy amongst each other. She's pretty badass. Uh, even Commander Lewis is also playful. I mean, she's obviously in charge and, and has to keep us all sort of um, in check, but uh, but there's a lightness, I think, to, to, to all of us. Is there anything that you three did to prepare for the, for the role? Um, I did a lot of uh, Google searching different words that I did not understand. And uh, I just spent a lot of time looking up different, um, you know, scientific things. And, uh, and I spent a lot of time on the NASA website as well. Yeah, I mean, the internet basically was the, the best go-to at the time that we had available. Just, you know, looking at other movies like The Right Stuff and things like that, Apollo 13, all those were really helpful. And in the film, um, your characters bring specific things um, to space. Jessica's character brings disco music. You guys bring happy days. What would you bring to space if you had to go? Hmm. Food? Um, the music is I, definitely a big one. I mean, music, I, yeah? Yeah, especially if you're alone a lot. I'd bring some almond butter and fi some dried figs. For like a year? <laughs> yeah, I'd bring a lot of them. Wow. That's a really good combo. Yeah, yeah. no, it's delicious. You break a little dried fig open, you pull a little spoonful of almond butter, and then yeah. mm. get a little bite. Nutritious and delicious. Kate would die first. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>